Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for November. Who's coming towards you? This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, all kinds of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. All your support really does mean a lot to me. So thank you for that. And thank you for uh, helping the channel's growth and being a part of it and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. I truly love to do this for you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Okay. Aries singles. Who's coming towards you for November? It doesn't have to necessarily be just for November. From when, when, whenever you see this till whenever. So it could happen a year from now. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen in November. Whenever. Uh, just say whenever. So let's see what we get here. So Aries. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. All right. So please keep in mind I can also sometimes pick up on a past situation so if this is a situation um with somebody from the past i can also pick up on that for some of you all right aries 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 oh that one wanted to come out let's get a couple signs for you possible incoming person to aries singles spirit please thank you so much take those two all right let's see what we have we have the moon, which is Cancer, and we have Pluto, which is Scorpio. So we have two water signs. We have a possible Cancer and Scorpio. Yep, Cancer and Scorpio. So you have fire, ear, oh, steamy, steamy. Okay, so let's see what this person, possible person coming into you, Aries, for some Aries. What kind of person is this? What is their energy like? Who are they? Let's see if we get what their energy is like, who they are. What kind of person are they? Let's get some energy on that. Who is this person coming into Aries? Get them up. On the floor. All right, what do we have? Well, we have the world energy, universe. So this is somebody who... Wow, I think they have a very big imagination here. They like to expand their horizons. They like to expand their knowledge, their experiences. I think this might be somebody who likes to travel the world. This is the world energy. This is someone who likes to know, I think, someone who likes to really educate themselves, likes to know everything going on in the universe, going on in the world. Not only just the world, but the entire universe. This could be... They could be an astrologer. They could be um, someone very smart. Like they, they always want to gain knowledge. They could read a lot also. Also like to travel, like to explore, you know, like to go and experience uh, different cultures and things like that. Someone who's always, always on the go wanting to broaden their horizons. And maybe that's what they do for work. Um, I just got, they could be a reporter and maybe they travel a lot. Or something like that where they um, get to see all parts of the world or something like that they could be a journalist they could be a reporter they could be something like that which enables them to be able to travel all around the world and gain all sorts of new um, experiences and knowledge Wow someone who is very adventurous I feel also uh, who is just ready to do the next thing, like, let's go, you know? So somebody, somebody I feel like is, yeah, that likes, maybe likes adventure, but likes to get out there and do things and explore. Wow, okay, very adventure, adventurous type of energy. And I feel like this someone is not afraid to close out cycles that they need to close out because the universe is all about the world, about closing cycles, starting new cycles. So this could be somebody who's not afraid to close out something that's not no longer serving them. Then they're not afraid to jump right into something new either. So, wow, it's a lot of energy there. 
Wow. Okay. I'm feeling like a lot of it, like different kind of energy. So, all right. So let's see like when you can meet this person, what kind of time frame, what kind, kind of time frame, what time of year could Aries meet this person? Oh, wow. Well, okay. <laughs> So I guess it could be any time because this doesn't really give me a time frame. This is a crown chakra card. So you know what? I'm going to draw another one because that don't give me a time frame at all. Okay, so let's pick this one. All right, so we have wand energy here, I believe. Nope, nope. I believe that's... Uh, Sorry, I think that's the Six of Swords. This deck is a little bit different. So I believe that's the Six of Swords. So I'm just checking. Yeah, so, so it's winter. So it could be this winter. We have six here, so it could be like six days into winter, six weeks into winter. On the, um, well, it would have to be January 6th since winter doesn't really start until the end of December. So it could be January 6th, February 6th, I know, but somewhere in the winter. And we're coming into winter, so. And it could be right at the start of winter because you do see some green um, there. So it could be um, like maybe right at the start of winter. Or it could be right at the end of winter heading into spring. So yeah, I'm getting either beginning, just at the beginning, or at the end of winter. Okay, so where? Where could you meet this person? Where? Okay, so this is the wheel. So you could be at a carnival going on a uh, Ferris wheel. <laughs> wow, that was really random. random. So... This is the Wheel of Fortune. So, oh, you could be buying lottery tickets. <laughs> you could be, um, or something, or gambling at a casino somewhere uh, where you're taking a gamble with destiny. Because this is the Wheel of Fortune, destiny. So you could be gambling at a casino. You could be buying scratch tickets. Um, or somewhere where I think it has to do with, like, gambling or something like that. Or uh, somewhere, something about wheels. So, I don't know, maybe you go have your wheels changed on your car, and you maybe they're the mechanic, or uh, these are all different messages. So it could be for all the people that I'm reading for. So it could be anything to do with wheels, or I'm thinking gambling. So, um, you know, wheels on your car, getting new wheels, and maybe, you know, you run into them, they're the mechanic, or something like that. Um, wow, so different messages there so if you don't gamble then maybe you have to do something with your car something with wheels uh, okay all right so like how we got the wear so I'm thinking either uh, the auto shop or at a casino or something like that so how how partnership and alliances so maybe you're going to look to buy new wheels a new car and this person uh is your dealer because <laughs> you see partnership and alliances here like shaking on the deal wow so some of you could be going to get buy a new car in the spring or like the end of winter going into spring like right at the end of winter maybe you're like i'm gonna wait till winter's end go look buy a new car and maybe this person sells you the car and you shake on it and you're like, hmm, you know, and you kind of strike up a conversation or, um, or again, maybe you're at a casino and I don't know, somehow, you know, somehow you beat them there. All right. So it could be, you know, if you're at a casino, it could be anything. They could be waiting to use a slot machine. You could be gambling at the same table or something like that and that's how you like meet them 
and I'm feeling like like an instant like like a connection attraction or something like that all right so if you connect with this person Aries if you connect with this person so we got the destiny wheel here I don't usually like read these cards as part of the reading I take it as like this is their energy this is the time of year this is how we you know but with destiny here that is faded that is something meant to be so this could be something meant to be all right so if you connect with this person you decide to go on a date you exchange numbers or whatever here or you could even meet them at a racetrack or something like that although i don't know if they race in the winter but unless you're in a warm part of the country all right so what kind of connection will this be for you aries what kind of connection if you decide to date this person whatever here what kind of connection will this be for you we have our lady of comfort oh that's nice so this would be a very comforting connection so i feel like this person will be very like affectionate i'm getting a very affectionate connection a very loving affectionate caring giving nurturing kind of connection wow that's nice okay so let's see what's your advice let's see what your advice is with this connection let's see what your advice is with your connection let's see what your advice is with this connection what is Aries advice with this new incoming person for singles what is their advice well, I guess that's your advice so we have past life healing forget me not the situation has been triggered by one of your past lives heal the past and you bring healing into the present wow you could have even had past lives with this person wow so something about a past life here in this person so if something triggers you with this person it may be something stemming from a past life that either you need to still heal from they may not have been in a past life but maybe there's something about them that triggers you that you need to heal then it could have been something from a past life so if you have like weird dreams or deja vu or something it could be like things from a past life that you need to heal and this person may help help you to heal because you see how they're comforting each other wow getting like a very healing another that's another energy too another healing comforting caring giving nurturing kind of connection like um doting on one another and make sure are you okay make sure you know you're okay and that kind of energy hmm that's nice it's kind of sweet okay so let's clarify some tarot with this wow and i just had the world here wanted to fall out so that spirit confirming here with the world get the world twice so yeah this is somebody that is always up for adventure well likes to travel explore learn grow expand again they could they could travel for work whatever they do like i said being a journalist or or something where they need to travel for their work all right what else what else do we have for this incoming person high priestess so and that is uh cancer or pisces and that's cancer there so you know that's the confirmation of cancer so yeah listen to your gut and your intuition higher knowing this could be somebody too who could be an astrologist and also very connected to source divine energy um but you know this is about listening to your gut your intuition um this can talk about secrets and that kind of energy um higher knowing you know faith spirituality kind of energy also um i don't know why is the high priestess here the emperor wow so and that's your energy aries that's your energy so you know boss ruler someone who's in charge takes charge kind of energy 
So you may have a take hard, take charge kind of energy too. So it could be you both have that sort of energy and you both just really compliment one another. Maybe you both up always up for something exciting, a challenge, travel, all that. And, you know, maybe you have that in common. It's like you both know, you know, it's like you both know what the high priestess, what each other's thinking. Like you don't really have to say it because the high priestess doesn't say much. So you may know like what each other, because this is like almost to me, I'm getting like same energy. So you may know like how each other's feeling, what you're thinking, what they're thinking and that kind of energy. All right. So what else? What else for Aries? What else for Aries? The Queen of Earth. So, yeah, very stable, grounded kind of energy also. Again, with the caring, nurturing, giving. Earth is all about caring, nurturing, giving, stability, growth, expansion. So, yeah, a lot of growth, expansion, especially with the world twice. But there's also stability. So, even though traveling, exploring, whatever, you still have very stable foundation Um and the connection also from within. So a lot of stability here. All right, what else? Now we have the five of earth. So this can talk of, you know, monetary lack, or it could talk of, you know, feeling abandoned or left out in the cold. But right under the comfort card here, I don't think you're ever going to have to worry about this uh, with this person. This person is always going to be there for you no matter what. Whatever happens for either one of you where you feel a little down and out, you're always going to be there to comfort one another. That's how I'm reading that. Whatever happens, you know, if you feel down and out, something happened, you're feeling lonely and abandoned and neglected, that person, boom, is going to be right there for you, comforting you and vice versa. What else? King of Earth. So now we've got a matching couple. Wow, we got the king and queen of earth. So I did feel that. I just said that a few minutes ago that this is this is like a soulmate partnership here. King and queen of earth. So I think you're going to be very similar to one another. Very similar. A lot of stability, growth, expansion, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. Wow. Hey, man. I don't know, we've got two here. Hangman and the Five of Ear. I think you're just going to be really caught up and hung up on one another. That's what I'm getting with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a very, like, you're going to be like uh, twins, like in, inseparable kind of energy. Like you're really going to be hung up on one another. You got the Five of Ear here. And this could talk about... Um, Kind of like getting ahead and you don't care how you do it. Kind of a very ego, self-centered, selfish kind of energy. It's like, I think you're going to be so hung up on one another. It's like you're just going to be not selfish with one another, but just like you just want to spend all your time with them. They want to spend all their time with you. And it's like just being selfish with each other like I'm just selfish because I just want them it's like you know that kind of energy not necessarily like bad like in an ego kind of way but just um I think all you want is gonna want is just each other that's what I'm kind of getting with that all right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck So, yeah, we have love here. So we do have the lovers, soulmates here. So I did feel that, soulmates. Very fiery, passionate messages between the two of you. Text, uh, FaceTime, a lot of sensuality, passion kind of energy. Yep, so I do see I, I, a very strong connection here. Soulmates, um, I think you're just going to marry each other. You're going to be like so alike. You're just going to click. And you have a lot in common. I feel I feel it's very caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. Whatever, however you meet this person is meant to be. It's destiny because we have destiny here. You could be moving on from something. Um, that's how you meet this person also. 
It's like you're moving on to your destiny. This is all about universe. It's about closing out cycles, starting new cycles. Again, I feel like, you know, like I said, venturous kind of energy. Uh, we got winter, beginning or end of winter, I'm feeling. You could be gambling, casino, lottery, uh, buying a new car, something with wheels. And that's how you meet this person. Okay, Aries. Well, I hope you like this. If you did, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. You'll get a singles who's coming towards me. If you are in a connection with somebody, I have a love connection reading. Um, and I also have a tarot forecast, which is a general reading. But I take whatever comes, if it's love or not, whatever. And then I have a uh, spirit messages reading, what you need to know at this time from your spirit guide. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.